Hey yo, what is up everybody, Chuck here, and welcome to a very, 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 very special video. Today we're going to be counting down the top 20 Pokemon Go sightings of 2016. Over 50,000 sightings were sent in this year, and I've narrowed it down to 20, so you know it's going to be pretty epic. But before we get into the video, I wanted to announce the winners of the Misplay giveaway. These 10 people on screen right now each won $20 gift cards just for signing up for Misplay, trying a couple games out. They won gift cards for Pokecoins, and you can too. It's super easy, and it's a really fun app to use. All you have to do is look below this video, go in the description, click the link, download and install Misplay for your Android or iPhone. Sign up with the code CHUCK. You'll start out with a bunch of points, and you'll be well on your way to your first gift card. Let's get into it. Now these sightings were collected over the past five and a half months, so some of them obviously will have the old tracking system and some of them will have the new one. If I see any comment that says, fake, where's the new tracking system? I'm gonna laugh at you. You may recognize a few of the sightings, but some of them are brand spanking new. So without further ado, let's get on to number two. Zero. Kicking it off at number 20. That sounds really weird to say, but we've got a sighting from Cole and it features a whole lot of water Pokemon. Cole found one, two, three, four slow pokes, a slow bro, two Magikarps, a gold duck, and a Vaporeon. That is a pretty insane grip of water Pokemon. So Cole, congratulations on number 20 of 2016. Let's keep it rolling. At number 19, we've got my favorite nest sighting in Pokemon Go history. Taylor sent this one in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven Onyx at one nest at the same time. Probably the most impressive nest spawn that's happened in Pokemon Go. So Taylor, congratulations on number 19, on to number 18. Number 18, we've got a three-way tie, and although they're all kind of similar, they're all pretty damn epic in their own way. First up, we've got HDTY, who encountered the first ever double Porygon spawn in Pokemon Go history. I have yet to see another one. Another unique double sighting was Hudson's double Venusaur spawn, which once again, I've never seen anybody else find in the wild, so congratulations, Hudson. And you all knew this one was coming, Maggie's double Dragonite sighting just a few weeks ago. To see any of those Pokemon just once in the wild would make my day. But when you guys see two of them at the same time, it absolutely blows my mind. So thank you for sending them in. On to number 17. Coming in at number 17, we've got a classic sighting from King. Now keep in mind, this was not only before the new tracking system, but also before the event that started yesterday. So it makes it a little bit more impressive. King found a Porygon, an Ammonite, a Hypno, an Exeggutor, a Poliwhirl, and a Charizard all at the same time. King, congratulations on number 17. Let's keep it going. Now here is where we get into some pretty epic sightings. Sanctin by Faron, four 10k egg Pokemon, one Onix, one Scyther, and two Snorlax at the same time. Faron, dope. Now on to number 15, and I just realized I have no more adjectives to use to describe how awesome these sightings are. College failed me. But Steven did it. He found an Arcanine, a Muck, and a Dragonite. One of my favorite sightings of all time, so it's kind of a shame that it's only at number 15, but that is just proof that the rest of this countdown is gonna get pretty epic. Coming in at number 14, we've got a sighting from Chris. Now keep in mind, this sighting happened before the New Year's event started, so it makes it a little bit more impressive. A Scyther, an Exeggutor, a Kangaskhan, a Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and a Venusaur. Now this would still probably make the countdown even if it happened during this event. So Chris, congratulations, very impressive. On to number 13. Now at number 13, we've got a sighting that when it originally made its appearance in a countdown, I actually missed out on one Pokemon. Sent in by Ian. As you can see, there is a Kabutops and a Charizard, but what I failed to realize the first time is there's actually a second Kabutops inside of the Charizard. If you look closely, two Kabutops, one Charizard, a couple Vulpix, and a Rhyhorn. Ian, incredible sighting. I'm sorry I jipped you out of first place the first time I put you in a countdown, but here's your redemption. Now, coming in at number 12, we've got a brand new sighting, one that you guys haven't seen yet, sent in by Katafi. One, two, three, four Magikarps, a Kangaskhan, a Snorlax, and a Dragonite. And yes, if you look closely, that Snorlax and Dragonite are at the same Pokestop. So Katafi, you are way too lucky, but congratulations on making the countdown. Let's keep it rolling. In at number 11, we've got another brand new sighting sent in by Noah on Twitter. Noah saw one Squirtle, two Bulbasaurs, a Pikachu, a Charmander, a Blastoise, and a Venusaur. Now, had this happened before the event, I probably would have given a top three, but regardless, it's dope. I would freak out if I saw it. So Noah, congratulations. Now at number 10, I did tell you there would be a couple new sightings in here, right? Here's another one. Sent in by Oscar, courtesy of this event, he ran into a Charmander, a Bulbasaur, and a Charizard, but also a Kingler and an Aerodactyl. So not only does he have the starter Pokemon, but a couple other cool ones as well. Oscar, congratulations on the top 10. On to number 9. Now at number 9, we've got a sighting that makes me very, 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 very jealous. If you had to name two Pokemon that I would love to see in the wild, you could probably come up with them pretty quickly. 
Well, Ponty found those two and a couple more. A Fero, a Jinx, a Clefable, an Aerodactyl, and a Lapras at the same time. Ponty, congratulations. It is really a shame, though, this is before the new tracking system, which means Ponty probably didn't catch any of them. <laughs> On to number eight in another one of my favorite sightings, sent in by Cam. He was actually last week's winner, so welcome back, Cam. Not one Aerodactyl, but two Aerodactyls and a Snorlax at the same time. Thank God for this new tracker, and thank God for Cam. Congratulations, Cam. On to the top seven. Now, I don't want to spoil it, but in at number seven, we have five fully evolved Pokemon, and there's a pretty good chance that a lot of you have never encountered any of these five. JJ found them all at once. A Marowak, a Wigglytuff, a Clefable, a Nidoqueen, and a Dragonite all in the wild, and no Pidgeys. No Pidgeys, no Rattatas. There is a Zubat, though. But JJ, for real, incredible sighting. Now, we just had a sighting that had five fully evolved Pokemon. That is absolutely insane. What's cooler than five, though? I think you guys know. In at number six, we've got Jacob, who ran into not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six fully evolved Pokemon. A Cloyster, a Rhydon, a Magneton, a Dugong, a Vileplume, and a Gyarados. Now there's that classic Rattata and Weedle in the sightings. Jacob, congratulations on number six with your six fully evolved Pokemon. Awesome sight. Now we're finally to the top five, so it would mean a lot if you guys would give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It would be dope if we could get to like three million likes. That's, that's not gonna happen. But at number five, we do have three absolute beasts. Sent in by Jaden, a Chansey, a Dragonite, and a Lapras. Three of my favorite Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Not that I would know how good Lapras is, because I don't have one. Now, in at number four, we've got a sighting that a lot of you guys are probably gonna remember. It's one of my personal favorites, and it, it's just so cool to see this full evolution line in the wild. You guys probably know what it is. Sent in by James, a Dratini, a Dragonair, a Dragonite, and a muck. To see a muck in the wild is absolutely crazy. To see a Dratini in the wild is pretty lucky. To see the entire Dragonite family and a muck at the same time, mind blowing. Now we're finally in the top three, and I cannot believe we made it this far, but at number three, we've got a sighting sent in by Timo, and words can't really describe it. A Raticate, a Golbat, and a Pidgeot. Yes, they all suck. We are all aware of that, but three fully evolved Pokemon alongside a Snorlax, a Blastoise, and a Lapras? Timo, that's unfair. Congratulations on number three, and things are about to get serious. In at number two, in courtesy of by far the most overpowered Pokemon Go event we've seen so far, the Lapras event in Japan. Sent in by Addy. One, two, three, four Lapras at the same time. Four of them. Now that was absolutely incredible. Four Lapras at the same time is very, very, very hard to beat, and I agree. And some of you guys may say, Four Lapras is the greatest thing ever! But I think you guys are wrong. Courtesy of the beta tracking system that was in San Francisco before it rolled out for the rest of the world, we've got the greatest sighting of all time, sent in by James. A Golbat, a Porygon, a Jinx, a Ninetales, Dragonite, Gyarados, Aerodactyl, all at the same time, only one Pidgey! That's four of the hardest Pokemon to find in Pokemon Go, in addition to a Golbat, a Jinx, and a Ninetales. So James, with a Z, congratulations on the best Pokemon Go sighting of 2016. You win. Thank you everybody who sent in your sightings. My math told me I went through about 50,000 of them on Instagram and Twitter combined over the past five months. Hopefully with this event, we'll have a bunch more cool sightings. So make sure to keep them coming on Instagram and Twitter. Links will be in the description. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up. If you want to get some free Pokecoins to take advantage of this event, sign up for Misplay. Link in the description. Use the code CHUCK and you'll start out with a couple extra points. You'll be well on your way to a gift card. I love you guys. Take it easy. Peace.